My name is Paul Jenkins. My wife Judy and I are the parents of Jennifer Bukowski, a young high school associate principal at Oconomowoc High School who uh, at the end of April of, of 2008, one day before her 40th birthday, uh, she was killed by an impaired driver. She, her unborn child, and her 10-year-old daughter, uh, Courtney Bella. Also injured in that same crash uh, was uh, Zach Bella, her then 12-year-old son, and Courtney's best friend, uh, Debbie Gibbs. Earlier that morning, uh, the perpetrator, uh, the person that caused the crash, uh, Mark Benson, had been to a drugstore, purchased two prescription drugs, uh, 30 pills in each vial, uh, about 9.30 that morning, and at 3.30 that afternoon, as he ran into the rear of Jennifer's car while she was stopped at a traffic light at 50 miles an hour, he had taken five each of the pills that, were, that he had purchased earlier uh, that morning. That's Xanax, Ambien, and earlier that day, he had had a uh, injection of oxycodone. Mark Benson uh, was uh, a medical doctor, an orthopedic surgeon, uh, and before the, his problems with, uh, or issues I should say, with uh, drunk driving, he had been arrested three times for writing fraudulent script, obtaining uh, uh, drugs that he then used for himself. He received no time for that, as far as I know. He paid a uh, fine, and finally on the third event, the, some medical licensing board finally revoked his medical license uh, so that he couldn't no longer practice um, his profession of orthopedic uh, surgery. Ultimately, uh, Benson was sentenced to 30 years in jail uh, for killing half of our family. As a result of those incidents, uh, my wife and I, who had no idea of the state of the law with regards to drunk driving in Wisconsin, uh, began petitioning uh, the state legislature to change uh, OWI laws, or Operating While Intoxicated uh, Laws. Uh, we worked steadfastly with uh, uh, a few of the legislators uh, here in the state and ultimately, uh, last December, or I should say December of 2009, uh, a bill, AB Bill 547, was introduced, but unfortunately, it was not heard by any uh, chair with regards to passage of those bills. What we are asking for is to make the first OWI offense a uh, misdemeanor, uh, establishing the ability to perform uh, sobriety checkpoints throughout the state and various other uh, activities with regards to sentencing for drunk driving.